Einstein famously said, if you can't explain it simply, then you don't understand it well enough. In the new book, I define citizen developers as follows. People who can build powerful business applications using contemporary low code and no code tools. Their lack of programming experience and knowledge does not impede them from contributing in the same ways that traditional software developers do. This begs the question, what's the difference between no code and low code tools? And it's very simple. Many times software vendors and think tanks, folks from management consulting firms overthink it. So very simply, no code tools forbid their users from adding additional code. That's it. You'll be able to get away with only using your mouse. By contrast, with low code tools, break out your keyboard. Low code tools allow their users to add custom code if they like, but there are restrictions and those restrictions typically fall into one of the following categories. The type of code, the amount of code, the location of the code, and finally, the capability of the code. Once we get our terms straight, then maybe we'll have a better chance of taking advantage of the power of these no code and low code tools.